Dear friends of PrimeView, welcome. Today uh, we have a nice announcement, exciting announcement. We have ported the free Sakai admin template from Vue CLI to uh, Create View, which means it's now based on Vit. So during the um, port, the, the, we have not just ported the um, configurations, we have also re-implemented the core structure that so it becomes very easy to integrate with your existing applications right around uh, five, 10 minutes and it was not possible before so we really decoupled the layout logic from the application logic and i'll try to show you today how can you integrate sakai uh, based with your existing with application so this starts with checking out sakai of course it's here let's try to run it with npm run dev and it is at here. Let's see what we have. It's a nice looking uh, admin template with various options, uh, different themes. It's design agnostic so that you can use it with different themes, bootstrap material, uh, our own prime one themes. Um, it supports too many times. You can just, it's online. You can just uh, visit the online showcase as well. Now we are interested in our uh, actual application let me show you what i have done i've actually created with the create view starter which is create view and you know i've actually created another tutorial about this how to get started with it get started with create view and um, prime view it's based on width i've actually just removed the boilerplate stuff so I ended up with this welcome to my app. Now, when we check this out, we have nothing here, just app. The home view is the basic, what you see here, it's just a welcome text. There are no components, no assets. So it's pretty basic, just a basic start. And we only have the router here. It just says uh, the root goes to the home view. Now, Let's try to take this basic application with, the, with just one view, home view, and just put Sakai around it. So as I mentioned, we have decoupled layout logic from the application. So if you go to the public, we have a couple of resources here, um, like the images that um, Sakai requires. That's where you would probably use, add your replace your logo. So just place a public a layout folder and move it to your application. Uh, this is optional, but if you'd like to use that theme configurator, you will also need this one. And that's it for the public assets. Now we also have the assets in, that's the one thing I like about it. This was not possible before. We have you know separated demos and the core layout so that you know, the demos have the flags, badges, and documentation stuff. Uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, demos on the on the Sakai dashboard. And you usually, when you get a template, you usually remove stuff. But our approach is that you move in stuff instead of removing stuff. So that instead of using this starter, you just move it in your existing application. So what we need is the assets folder. That's where we have the layout, SCSS, and the themes. Teams are optional again, but that's usually for a, a theme configurator so that you can switch them dynamically. So move them to layout assets and that's it for the assets. Okay, now we need to um, integrate prime view. Here we have uh, prime view, prime icons, prime flex. Prime flex is optional. It's used only uh, for the demos. You can use Sakai with another CSS library of your cho choice as well. And let's do npm install. Okay. Uh, first, we need to uh, install Prime View and set up the um, sources. Why? Why? Uh, what I like about it is that I can just create um, styles and move just like I did in the quick start video. 
first we can just this is your main uh, uh, style file of course then we can just go to the main in your main file we can also add this SCSS file that is a style configuration the global styles for your application so what we have is we can also use primary here uh, we don't need anything else here except the layout file okay so what we have here we have the layout file for Sakai and PrimeView that's it and we define it and include it import it in your our main JS file you know um, PrimeView also needs to have the, you know, the config um, option that sets different things like the locale and your translations that also is required for prime view so we can just use that prime view let's also enable ripple so that we can have ripple when if you, in case you like to use a material theme and i think that's it okay we have moved in the layout assets we have configured prime view everything looks good now we need to move some source files so again that's the under source folder the layout this is the main you know sidebar footer top bar menu all the things are here and there's a composable file that's uh, responsible it's the uh, layout chest that's responsible for communications like toggling of the menus you don't need to worry about it uh, it's just built in and but you can you can just tweak things around like uh, you know uh, change the defaults like the menu mode the static you can change, change it to uh, you know overlay and things like that so let's move in the layout folder uh, under source okay and we need to now uh, change the router you know if you check out the app view this is my app view it's pretty much the same it's nothing here it just displays whatever you have and it should be the same so just just the router view okay now trick is going to the router and you know that the route goes to home now it should go to app layout okay now as i mentioned the path the root path should be app layout and that's the component so everything goes through our layout and then we have a children now you can place your files here you know the your actual application routes like the root home view okay i think that's it okay i hope that i haven't missed something but let's see uh sas is not installed let's install sas that's i hope that's the only thing i missed and let's see Okay. Okay. Now I it works but I've also missed the theme. The default theme. You know there are a couple of ways to include themes in your application. You just need to open index.html and put it here and then tada it works. Okay. Now the demos won't work because I haven't moved the demo files but the, the basic functionality of the menu should work like this you know uh, the themes should work as well so that now you have like around a lot of free themes like bootstrap material mm, our own prime one themes as well uh, it's scalable uh, you can have ripple effect and things like that and it should be responsive as well 
uh, how can you change the menu in for that case you have a couple of yeah, i mean you can this is a starter you can just tweak it the way you like it you can move it you can add pinia you can add a lot of things on top of it the way you like it but the app menu is here in the app menu folder you can just move it you know lift the state up move it in your app and just pass it to the app menu but uh, this is your menu so if i if i can just if I remove things, these will be removed now. You can just configure your router, configure your app menu and start coding with it. And it's now available at GitHub Prime Faces, our foundation, and then Sakai View. Uh, the old repo was removed. So it's it was now Sakai View CLI. We will just archive it and then um, the new one will be the Sakai view template. Okay, hope you like it. Uh, this, uh, we are now uh, moving all, all our uh, premium templates and bringing new ones and they were view CLI based. Now we are just porting them to this approach, uh, which is width based and they are easy to integrate because we have just decoupled layout logic, as I mentioned from the demos. And then instead of uh, removing stuff when you're trying to integrate work with a template, which may be uh, in case you have some experience with all some templates that you purchase from somewhere, they may be some harder to work with, a lot of dependencies, because you know, we don't have any dependence, just Prime View. You have a lot of free components. Uh, they are updated when the view is updated uh, instead of a bunch of, you know, uh, components from different repositories, different sources. It all comes from the same vendor. And we are just um, porting them to this approach that it will be easy to integrate with uh, your existing applications. So I hope you like this video and see you on the next one. Thank you very much.